Meghan fumes as she receives £30 million mansion with 120 rooms, while Harry loses all royal properties. The Duchess Sophie and Prince Edward's breathtaking 120-room mega mansion Bagshot Park has caused quite a stir, leaving Meghan in a state of anger as she receives a lavish property worth £30 million. Meanwhile, Harry has been stripped of all his royal properties. Bagshot Park, where the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh reside with their children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Earl of Wessex, is a remarkable residence. The couple recently allowed the press to take a glimpse inside their home, revealing a stunning, light-filled conservatory offering views of their expansive lawns. With terracotta brick walls, a dining table, barbecue, and houseplants, the conservatory exudes elegance. Duchess Sophie also invited BBC's Naga Munchati into one of the lavish rooms of their royal residence, which featured green-striped upholstered chairs, a matching green carpet, and an overall opulent ambience. Reports suggest that the couple has extended the lease for another 150 years, at a cost of £5 million. The property itself is estimated to be worth a staggering £30 million, should it be listed on the open market. Set within 51 acres of land, the mansion boasts an impressive 120 rooms after undergoing demolition and reconstruction in 1879. It is regarded as one of the most remarkable royal residences. Edward and Sophie have resided in this grand estate for over 20 years since moving in following their royal wedding in 1999. The couple's taste and preferences were further revealed when Sophie shared tips and resources for homeschooling their children during the coronavirus pandemic. In a video clip, Sophie stood in front of a bookcase filled with DVDs, books, and games, offering a glimpse into how the family spends their time together at home. Another video released by Sophie showcased a magnificent workspace featuring carved wooden walls, enormous double doors with brass handles, glass side tables, and various ornaments. The grounds of the mansion are equally impressive, boasting a private lake and several stables, all encompassed within the vast 51-acre estate. On the other hand, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have officially vacated their former UK residence, Frogmore Cottage. Buckingham Palace confirmed the news, which comes six months after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were asked to vacate the property on the King's Windsor estate. The eviction process reportedly began on January 12, the day after Harry's revealing interview with Oprah Winfrey. The loss of Frogmore Cottage was a significant blow to Harry and Meghan, especially considering it was a gift from the late Queen. However, it is important to note that the property was leased to them, and not owned outright, hence their eviction. Michael Stevens, keeper of the Privy Purse, issued a statement on behalf of the Crown confirming their departure from Frogmore Cottage. The contrasting circumstances surrounding Meghan's grand mansion and Harry's loss of royal properties have sparked controversy and heightened tensions, leaving Meghan frustrated while Harry faces the consequences of severing ties with the royal family.